So this time around, Clay asks, are you religious? And my answer is yes, I, I absolutely am. In fact, I'm more than comfortable, I'm enthusiastic about words like religion and church and things like that. And I understand that those words are not necessarily happy words, comfortable words, acceptable words for some people. It is absolutely the case that some of the people watching this video have had profoundly negative experiences at church or as part of some kind of a religious practice. I understand that and I respect it. It's also true that there are people who get a lot of, uh, a lot of attention in the media who are doing nasty things in the name of church and religion. People who are talking about hate and fear and things like that. So on the one hand, I understand a little bit of resistance towards using those, let's say, traditional words. On the other hand, how come they get to define the words? How come they get to use the words? I don't really believe in bad guys, but if we take our ball and go home, and it kind of means like the, the bad guys win. Once again, I don't believe in bad guys. But on the other hand, if we don't participate in the dialogue, then that negative definition of what church, religion, and so on, that negative definition gets to carry the day. And I'm not sure that's fair, and I'm confident that it's not time to give up so easily. I understand the desire to be welcoming, and in so doing, to put aside those old words. I get it, and I want to be respectful. On the other hand, I think sometimes people might go a little bit too far, where they say, we don't have churches. We have spiritual centers. We do happen to meet on Sunday morning and we all sit in rows of chairs and there's a person that stands at the front of the room and they talk about spiritual stuff. But it's not a church. Okay, that's fine. If that's what you need to do, once again, I respect that. On the other hand, it's the case that there are some really bad restaurants. Does that mean that we shouldn't eat? Does it mean that we shouldn't go to restaurants? Maybe we should start something called a food service emporium. And we still go there and, and you sit at a table and there's a piece of paper. We won't call it a menu. We'll call it a food listing. And you look at your food listing and you order the food and then and someone brings the food to you, but it is not a restaurant. Well, gosh, there's a level at which, you know, if it smells like a duck, or whatever the saying is, you know what I mean. The point is, sometimes I think people protest a little bit too much, but one way or another, the point is, there's nothing wrong with the word. Yes, some people do mean things in the name of religion. You don't have to. There are bad restaurants. You don't have to go to them. Find one that you like. Sometimes people say, I'm not religious, but I'm spiritual. And I love that. As you know, if you've been watching the, these movies, it's a little bit of a pet peeve of mine. Because for me, Spirituality has to do with what you take in. And so if someone says, I'm spiritual, what I hear when they say it, whether they mean it or not, what I hear when someone says, I'm spiritual, is I am in receive-only mode. And that is okay. We've all been in that place. But you've got something to do. Spirituality is about how you feel. Religion is about what you do. And when I look around at the world, I see that there is plenty of room for good-hearted people to do good things. Yes, it is absolutely the case that there are churches that don't make sense to you. Don't go to them. But find a practice that speaks to your mind and heart. Find something that makes sense in here and in here. Find something that makes the world a better place and makes you a better person. I think we need more religion. Because what religion is really is belief plus action. You can't have one without the other. Action with no belief is nutty. Belief without action is just a bunch of people sitting still. And we've got things to do. So am I religious? Absolutely. Because I believe that these ideas in my mind and these feelings in my heart are things that can make the world a better place. And religion is all about what you do about what your beliefs are. So let's have some religion. Let's have some action. It is high time that we acted. So thanks for being a part of that action. Thanks for moving forward with these ideas. Thank you for sharing these videos. It's really important. And as always, thank you for sending in your questions. The thing to do to help me out is to go to facebook.com slash Randolph and click on that like button. It means a lot. Thanks a lot.